dude. Check it out, man. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Eat shit! Are you drunk? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 fuck! <laughs> oh shit! You're fucked, little bitch boy! Bitch boy! Shit! Ooh! Sit down, my guy! Ooh! Whoa, whoa, dude. Check out these cans. That's solid. That's soft. Oh, shit! Hello. I am the Red Monk. And today, I will give you five cool monk tips on how to be an alpha male. Right? The alpha male lifestyle. And what an alpha male is is a chad it could be considered a chad and that is a male that has more testosterone than all the other fucking betas it's a jerky narcissistic fuck so our uh, tips today will allow you to become that uncomfortable narcissist and you might be wondering, why is there video game footage on screen? That is because we have a pinnacle of masculinity here. We have a, a solid male. I mean, would you rather have uh, this faggot, this suspect, telling you how to get laid, or this man, the Chad? Which one do you think has uh, sexual intercourse more often. This suspect or this hunk of man meat? Monk tip one. Display your nuts. Now, a chemical in your body that is directly proportional to how much of an alpha male you are is your testosterone. The, the more testosterone equals the more of an alpha male you are, and it is uh, made. Your body makes the testosterone inside of your testicles. So, if you focus your chi flow into your nuts, you have more testosterone, because that is where testosterone is made, in your nuts. And, everyone cares to see your nuts. In your own little fucking made up world where you love yourself and you don't understand that other people think differently or like themselves instead of you. You have to show them the nuts. And being in that idiotic trapped in your own mind, you gotta be a petty fuck. Only true alpha males are petty fucks, right? Because in their head, the world revolves around the alpha male. So if it's not your perfect little situation, you gotta be difficult, you gotta whine, and you have to be a little bitch boy. Because only true men can play like little bitches. Shit. You have to understand, the core of chattery is to have it all in your head and have other people. You, you can't, you don't know what other people think. You're too fucking stupid. You just expect for everyone to think as you do. And if they don't, they're idiots. And the way you think, you freaking love yourself. So you gotta be a petty fuck. Monk tip three. You have to talk about society and politics and overgeneralize. You have to have the dumbest political beliefs. Not even actual political beliefs, like widespread personalities. Like, part of being an alpha male 
is be very unaware of everything in the world except for yourself, right? So you say shit like, kids these days are so lazy. Mind you, there are millions of children alive right now. There are millions of children, and that is a personality trait, right? That is a personality trait. You, you, you call limptards faggots because it's a personality trait and you're just so smart that you can overgeneralize and say dumb political shit and just fucking run with it that's the, that's the core of the alpha male is to be so self obsessed and unaware of anything else except for your nuts Bunk tip four. This is probably the most important bunk tip. <sighs> Just drink some Perrier. Okay. Bunk tip four. Now, you are not a Chad. You are not an alpha male unless you dehumanize women and be misogynistic, but they still want the D because you're that much. This is the core of the narcissism, the misunderstanding of other people, and the dumb overgeneralization of the alpha male. You have to, you have to be sexually prudent. Now, one would expect that women do not like to be treated like shit. One might expect that. But, the alpha male is just so pristine, has such a thick dick that he somehow can be a dickhole. And the woman still want the D. Wow. For the record, that is... This is incredible in the real world. Outside your fucking head. This shit does not work. It makes no fucking sense. Women want to be treated with respect. But the alpha male is so chiseled, so confident that it's such a narcissistic dickhole that he is so rude to women and they still want him. <laughs> Eat shit. We're gonna be fucking killing this guy. <laughs> You're dead, my guy. Uh, shit. So, you, 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 your wiener stays in your pants all day long. You could have the smallest wiener, but if you're really good with your words, it can get more use than a big wiener. Right, because it's in your pants all day long. But this is this is important for the alpha male. Be a dickhole woman. That's the most important part about having one wants you more. Bunk tip five. You need to use the dialect, thick dick dialect. Yeah, this is, well, remember those, like, uh, cannibals that were, like, like, they had their own location, and they kept on inbreeding, and they invented their own dialect? The, oh, fuck. The alpha male needs to obtain his own language, his own dialect. And how you do that is you... Uh, pretend like you're randomly going into a thetharis. A thetharis. Like, use really weird words, but say them with confidence. Like, everyone else just doesn't know that commonly used word. Pfft, eat shit. But, the another important part about this is randomly stressing, and then randomly pausing mid-sentence. This is important. This is important if you ever want to be like the true Chad, the true hammer guy.
my my surge to character. You have to randomly. You have to just pause. You just have to pause. And sometimes talk like this. You sometimes have to talk like this. <laughs> Look at this dude. Damn. So we have a bonus bunk tip. And this is incredibly, incredibly important to the alpha male. The fact that being a dickhole doesn't make you magically special. It's a, a foundation of the alpha male to be obsessed with himself and expect other people to be obsessed with himself, right? A true person, an actual person who's down to earth, who like understands their current situation and, you know, understands that, you know, it's all just for, we're all gonna fucking die anyway. But the alpha male defies this. He's just, he's his own fucking superhero. He's so far up his own ass. He lives in a fucking comic book. Dick hold everyone else. Because it doesn't put him in the center of the universe, right? He, he is so fucking special. Everyone else is so fucking stupid. The world revolves around this nigga. So that are, that, that are my monk tips. That are my monk tips. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you too can be as sexually active as your monk here himself. I will bid adieu. Dus fadani. Dus fadani. Do blonde people have yellow pubes? This is the kind of shit I think about, right? Because if you think about it, you know, I've, I've had sex with many women. That is a clear statement. I am very sexually active. And all 400 of the blondes all were shaven. The only bitch I see with carpets have brown hair. So they have brown pubes. But what what would that look like? Would it just be a fucking a ton of blonde hair popping off her bottom of her fucking stomach? What would that shit look like? Do blonde people have yellow pubes? The same could be said about gingers. Because, you know, gingers could have fucking red ass genitalia. That would be a weird fucking sight to see. F a fucking red genitalia. Oh, that would be a fucking weird thing to look like. I think everyone should just have black pubes. Because, I don't know, man. I don't trust fucking rainbow ass fucking shit. I don't trust it. 